uh, Nigerians, I greet you. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we want to talk about uh, the increment of uh, fuel price right from when uh, we started our democracy in 1999 till date. We want to see how petrol pump price managed to move from 20 naira per liter to 617 naira per liter. Before Chief Olusegun Gunobasan Njo took over power as Nigeria's first uh, democratically elected president in the Fourth Republic on May 29, 1999, fuel price under the government of General Abdul Salami Abubakar, the country's last military head of state, stood at 20 naira per litre. After spending a year in office, Obasan Njo's government increased the price from 20 naira to 30 naira on June 1, 2000, and year 2000. Following a nationwide protest by the organized level, the administration was forced to reduce the price to 22 naira on June 8. The new price lasted just two years as the same government again increased the price from 22 naira to 26 naira on January 1, 2002. In October 2003, the price further increased by the same government from 26 naira to 42 naira. While marking his fifth year in office as the country's number one citizen, Chief Obasanjo again increased the pump price from 42 naira to 50 naira on May 29, 2004, and on August 25, 2004, the former Army General's administration further increased the price to 65 naira per liter. And just two days before his government handed over power to um, Yeradwa, the then newly elected president, Obasanjo's government further increased again the pump price from 65 naira to 75 naira. This happened on May 27, 2007. So after Yeradwa took over power from Obasanjo on May 29, 2007, Yeradwa reduced the pump price from 75 naira to 65 naira per liter. You remember, Obasanjo was always uh, taking the power up, but when Yeradwa came, he reduced the uh, fuel price from six, uh, 75 naira to 65 naira per liter. The action marked the first time a sitting Nigerian president willfully reduced the price without being forced to. So, by the way, of a nationwide process, you know. The pump price meant remained at that 65 naira till the, the, the day Yaradwa died on the 5th of May 2010. May his soul rest in peace. Wherever Yaradwa is, God will continue to bless him for us. He is the only president in the history of Nigeria that maintains petrol price from the beginning to the end of his period. After the demise of uh, Yeradwa, may he so rest in peace. Uh, we had uh, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, who came in as he uh, was a, a, a former vice president, so he took over power when Yeradwa died. And uh, that was on the 29th of May 2011. Throughout that year, the fair price remained at 65 naira until January 1st, 2012, when Jonathan, during his New Year address, announced that fuel subsidies had been removed. And that fuel price had also been increased to 141 Naira. Remember, Gulok Ebele Jonathan removed subsidy and put the, uh, the price of petrol at 141 Naira. This announcement led to a nationwide protest by organized labor, student organizations, civil uh, movements, opposition parties like uh, Tunubu, Buhari, and the rest of them. Most celebrities, politicians, lawyers, everybody went to the streets, you know, turned the country upside down because fuel subsidy had been removed and the new pump price was 141 naira. They never knew that something funny was coming in future. You know, the nation's economic activities remained grounded for days as the Nigerian Labour Congress 
NLC and the Trade Union Congress led a lengthy strike action. The social political protest movement during this period was tagged Occupy Nigeria. On January 17, 2012, Jonathan's government later backtracked and reduced the price to 97 Naira. As a result of uh, falling oil prices, the Seba administration further reduced the price from 97 Naira to 87 Naira on the uh, 19th of January 2015. Hmm. When uh, Bubu Buhari took over in 2015 after APC won the election. Buhari came, took over from Jodhachad on the 29th of May 2015. You know, he made himself the Nigerian Petroleum Minister, you know, to ensure transparency and accountability in the nation's opaque oil sector. So at the time, Buhari had made a series of promises to Nigerians, including fixing the nation's uh, refineries, passing the petroleum industry bill within one year, ending fuel importation and addressing the corruption in the subsidy regime. Nigeria has had hope. Hmm. A year into this administration, Buhari took the nation by surprise when he increased the pump price from 87 Naira to 145 Naira. With his government persuading Nigerians to accept the new price, you know, after he was re-elected for a second term in office, fuel price further increased to 161 naira per liter in 2020. And in November of that same year, fuel further, you know, rose to 170 naira per liter. And before he handed over to to Tinubu on May 29th, 2023. A liter of fuel was sold for 210 naira. Nigerians, you know, was hoping that uh, the new government will come and, uh, you know, save them from the hardship. You know, but uh, when uh, Tinubu came, it was a different story. So, took over, uh, uh, Tinubu came. Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu, he came in in his inaugural speech as the Nigeria's fifth president in the Fourth Republic. Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu said there was no provision for subsidy in the national budget and that it would have to go. So this statement alone, in a knee-jerk reaction, marketers and operators instantly increased fuel pump price from 210 naira to 510 naira. Nigerians collapsed. Nigerians started crying. Everybody started crying. Commuters were complaining. Business people started complaining because the price of fuel would directly affect every other thing. And this announcement led to an astronomical increase in the prices of commodities and transportation fares also skyrocketed. With the increase, commuters were forced to pay double the amount they used to spend on transportation. And just as Nigerians were gradually coming in terms with this uh, new reality, news again emerged that oil marketers had further increased fuel pump price to 617 naira per liter. And uh, this is where we have been since that time, uh, looking for a way out. So I don't know who will save Nigeria. We need somebody like Atif Yaradwa to come back and help Nigeria. We need somebody who pities Nigeria. Somebody who has the interest of the people at heart. My people, please, let's hope and pray that one day Nigerians will be free. Thank you.